Hey there YouTube, it's Card here. Today we're going to take a look at Chaos Space in Drytron. And obviously I love Drytron, I love the flexibility that the deck has. It's almost going to be too good once uh, Mew Beta comes out. It's going to be insanely, insanely consistent and good. Uh, but one thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about the tech in this deck. So my idea behind using Chaos Space in this deck is that basically you want to maximize your efficiency of this deck by activating all your Drytrons from the graveyard. If you're activating them from hand while well, you're potentially wasting uh, your resources on a little, almost a little bit. Um, if you can use that resource elsewhere, then you are use, maximizing the efficiency of your deck. And so if you tribute for a your, yeah, if you tribute for your ritual summon, then a lot of times you want to use your monsters in your hand to maximize your efficiency. Well, the same goes for other cards in the deck as well and this is where chaos space gives you so much utility so not only can you search for a potential rank four play and searching collapse serpent um, also if you draw collapse serpent and you need to discard it to search a light well you can actually search herald of perfection weirdly enough it's it's crazy the synergy this deck actually this card actually has with this deck so if you search Collapse Serpent by sending one of your other monsters, that's fine. But now you have Chaos Space and Grave. And that mean that could mean a myriad of things. So not only if you summon the Collapse Serpent by banishing one of your Drytron monsters, you can shuffle that Drytron back into the deck and get another plus off that card. It's a free draw. And not only that, if you don't want to go that route, if you don't want to summon Collapse Serpent, you think it's a safer play to normal summon Bandity's Ruler, well, in that case, if you follow up with a Natasha play, you could get even another banish out of your Natasha just from that Ben 10, just because you used Chaos Space. So as you can see from my rationale here, I think this actually has an insane amount of utility. So before, I was actually running Pre-Preparation of Rights, and that card is actually still insane, but I think this is actually... A a little bit more of a spicy tech and really can act as an extender as well and you just get so much much flexibility here so to demonstrate the power of this card overall we will show you this replay here where i just out grind this guy with um really really crazy follow-up plays that that's just it this deck needs something that allows it to grind and this is the card that allows it to grind and not only do that but you can end on insane end boards you have options not only can do you have to just like normal summon vanity's rule to pass well now you have the option of a really really solid uh, Abyss Dweller and Herald of Perfection. These are really, really solid options going on. So we'll go for, through this replay here, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll just let it replay from here, and I won't really comment on it. You'll, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So thanks, guys. If you like this video, subscribe. And I'll try, yeah, I want to do more Twitch stuff. I want to do more Twitch when it comes to like stuff like Melee in particular. I won't do as much Yu-Gi-Oh, but we'll get that going as best as we can. See you guys.